So what in the world was Jamie Ben thinking? Just one minute into the game and you go and chase down Mark Stone? You knock him down onto the ice and then you just cross check him right in the neck or something? Holy, you think nobody saw that? That was just unacceptable and foolish. That was completely planned and targeted. He's clearly chasing him down. It's like, they know it's hard to beat Vegas with him on the ice, so let's maybe take him out right at the beginning of the game. No coincidence there, right? Like the first minute and a half and uh, Mark Stone goes down. Let's knock the heck out of him and get him out of the game. Maybe we can win that way. But instead he puts himself out, Jamie Benn. He gets kicked out, misconduct. Puts his own team in jeopardy. Watching that is just disgusting. You know, you gotta win, you gotta win fairly. You can't do that. It's like, that was a total cheap shot. But I guess that's karma for what Petrangelo did earlier to dry sidle, that high slash on the arms. And these playoffs this year is just totally out of control. There's no limit of what you can do in order to win the cup. Anyways, let's listen to what both coaches have to say about this hit. Of hockey, you gotta take some wax here and there. Now, Stoney does, I mean, that, that's a little different, you know, than taking a clean check or. Um, blocking a shot and all those other things but you know listen we're upset when we see that he's our captain but at the end of the day uh, they make a call that gives us a chance I don't know what word I want to use to to make them pay to make them pay for for that penalty and given how much the team relies on Jamie for you know leader emotion all that how tough is it when the game starts out the way that it does with that mistake yeah I mean obviously um I, I guess let's put it this way. I mean, you know, he made a mistake, feels really badly about it. I don't think anyone in the building feels worse than he does about it. Uh, I'm not going to pile on him. He's been a leader here, you know, for his entire career and uh, leads by example every day on and off the ice. Made a mistake. Fortunately, Mark Stone's okay, you know, and... Uh, you know, we've got to live with the consequences, and the consequences were, you know, it was uh, a big hole. So, um. so that was Bruce Cassidy and Pete DeBoer for you guys. I guess we'll wrap it up there regarding the actions of Jamie Ben. Thanks for tuning in, and please show your support to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.